Kowai kowai tera maunga tu maira. Aha kwa kotara naki fa awe nuku nuku mai neke neke mai taku tawaro kiki ni ayaha. Aha ke 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 noa ke 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 noa ti ei mauri ora. We've got a great story to tell here in Taranaki. A thriving economy and wonderful lifestyles based on good amenities and a wonderful natural environment. Here at the Taranaki Regional Council, we work alongside the community to professionally manage these natural resources. Working with people, caring for Taranaki. It's our job, it's what we do. Abundant clean water and fertile soils we depend on them for our livelihood and our very future. We all know how vital it is to look after them. The Riparian Management Program is transforming Taranaki. Millions of native plants, thousands of kilometres of fencing. It's the person-to-person -person stuff that's driving it. A good way to gauge the health of a river is to study the creatures living in it. We've been doing this for over 30 years now, and we know these creatures well. And the story they tell us is encouraging. Lake Ratakiri is an incredibly special, unique environment that's um, a community-led project. We have people from all walks of life involved in trying to get this back to what we believe it used to be. Taranaki's land and water assets are vitally important to the region and we need to use and manage them wisely now and into the future. The key to achieve this is working together. In the Taranaki Hill Country, we've got a win-win situation. The Council's sustainable land management plans give us heaps of information about the nature of the land we're dealing with and the wisest way to go about using that information. The land between Moko and Titoki is significant to Ngāti Tama. Parininihi is a small part of land that has been returned to Ngāti Tama ownership. That has given us an opportunity to work on the land and, and protect and restore the fauna and flora in the area for the benefit of future generations. No matter where I am in the world, Taranaki's always home. Whether you're into the mountain, the surf, the rugby, or beautiful gardens, we've got it all in Taranaki. I love working here. It's not just about these wonderful plants. It's about the people too. Those who created these special places for Taranaki, and those who come here to enjoy, to play, and to learn. It's been fantastic watching the great response we've had to the improved bus services and new bus services that we've rolled out in New Plymouth and across Taranaki. This is a bums on seats game. We need more people on the buses so we can continue to invest in them. Hazard management is an ongoing process. We look back to see what natural hazards have affected us in the past. We check what, is hap what happens now when floods occur and we predict what might happen in the future. This stop bank and the rural protection works are some of the techniques we use to reduce those hazards. Healthy environment, strong economy. Taranaki is truly like no other. We have a rock solid economic base and our industries work hard on good environmental stewardship. We've got a really good handle on the way Taranaki Industries are performing in terms of their environmental responsibilities. Every year we report on 200 plus monitoring programs based upon sound scientific data and analysis.
Tiaki Fenua Tiaki Moana Tiaki Mokopuna Motea Popo <laughs>